welcome back everyone uh, just uh, had a, got back from a brief hiatus of uh, playing some democracy but now that we're back we can see the new quarterly report and the news looks kind of grim uh, GDP has gone down due to a market meltdown however we're still doing pretty good with our budget surplus so that's pretty darn nice uh, polls were still doing over 50%, so we're going to get reelected at this rate. Our cabinet's still loyal. So, everything overall looking pretty pretty good. Not, oh, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, I guess it is what I meant to do. Uh, okay, well, I guess we'll get started. Continue. Okay, so we have 21 political capital. And capitals aren't liking us the most. We still have a huge surplus. I have no idea what we were doing last time. Oh boy, maybe it'll we'll start coming back to me. Science funding, that's at max. You know what? I'm just going to check out the policies, see how uh, people are liking them. So, if people don't like school vouchers, I don't know why. It's still free money, regardless of what it, what it, where it goes. They really dislike capital gains law tax. Property tax, tobacco tax, tax, and they don't like police being armed. I kind of like police being armed. Mm, that's a rough one. Um, I would like to increase that to just being a secular state or evolution only. But uh, yeah, that's a little bit uh, rough. They they actually like our public schools more than they like that are that are the wooden huts than they like the school vouchers I have that doesn't make any sense I guess it's more of a uh, just a choice that people make that they do they prefer socialism over free choice I mean this is still kind of socialism but it's better Ah, uh, welfare front department, full coverage. Yep, this didn't help me at all. <laughs> okay, so what can we do to help the market? Well, taxes are generally a problem. Yes, we did lower capital gains. Uh, corporation tax is on the books, but not significant in the least. Hundred billion in surplus income tax property tax is at zero okay well I, I don't know really what we can do taxes are as low as they can go jobs seem to be well I cannot the economy seems to be bottom and there's not much I can do to stimulate it how's the environment is it I can do something drastic, I guess. A monorail system. That sounds perfect, doesn't it? Just what everyone always wanted. Yeah, monorail. Reduces unemployment. It's going to be great for the economy. We're going to get those jobs. If that's how jobs work. If I mean, I hope those aren't completely temporary. I did just put in some uh, standards for fuel efficiency I think yeah fuel efficiency standards just dictating a uh, minimum yep well I think that's all I can do right now yep still working on that space station credit downgraded did we lose money whoa did we lose money wow wasn't because we overspent I'll tell you it was definitely we lost income yes we lost over a hundred billion in income tax Wow that is rough yikes I think I think this is something we're gonna just have to sit out yeah the, the market tanked absolutely well, I guess there's nowhere else to go but up from here I really hope our credit 
can go back up. I, I don't. I don't know what I can really do to help that. At least we went up in popularity in the polls. Health and unemployment. Un unemployment going up should not be a green arrow. I wish that was a red arrow. <laughs> well, pollution is going down, and once pollution is gone, soon after, uh, asthma should be gone. Oh, what if we raise the... Oh, we don't even have an alcohol tax. Maybe if we do an alcohol tax, we can solve some problems. It definitely won't help with uh, getting reelected, but we can't even do it. Never mind. Uh, free school meals, I guess. that That's popular. It's spending more money, but you know what? At this point, I don't think it can get much worse. I'd like to be working to whittle down my debt, but honestly, I'm fine with this. Emission limits, I think this is a fine thing to do, and it goes very closely along with our uh, fuel efficiency standards. We don't want them increasing fuel efficiency standards while just destroying the environment. Th things that would be counterproductive. Holy shenanigans. Our deficit doubled. Okay, H how much has, has our s expenditures been increasing? Uh, that doesn't tell me over time. Slightly. But it has really just been our income just tanking. Boy. People, people still loving us though. I mean, and honestly, love's all you need to get reelected. <laughs> and hopefully, we can sort this all out in our second term. Oh boy. Um, we have 24. Can we do anything with this? No, we cannot. Well, this is awkward. I don't really want to just click next turn, but I think that's what I'm gonna do. Environmentalists are loving us. Middle income. I'd love to reduce your tax. But we're really in. The government is really in a bad situation. Uh, uh, prevent this database. Police chiefs are requesting that they be allowed to build a global database of everyone's DNA to assist them in fighting crime. We may or may not be overstepping our bounds there at the U.S. by getting a global database. The system on fighting crime. Data, DNA, well, DNA evidence allows many previously unsolvable crimes to be tracked to the poor perpetrators. Although there are privacy concerns. Yeah, I don't think that should be... Uh, although, there are privacy concerns. Um, yeah, I'm going to deny. I mean, yeah, this, this is a fundamental breach of citizen human rights. It's not just citizens, it's human rights in general. We have a to maintain an individual's presumption of innocence till proven guilty. And building a Big Brother-style database of everyone makes us all feel like criminals. Are we really going to force our citizens to provide DNA samples to the state or face jail? Yeah, I agree. Well, we have, I think, t six more months until we're re-elected, hopefully. <laughs> we ended pollution, credit goes down, which hurts us even more. The internet takes off. That's sweet. How's the account? Not for none of these are where I want to be looking. Uh, money charts. Wow, it's still just nothing. Oh man. I mean, I think people are probably yelling at me just raise taxes, but I don't really want to do that. Uh, these taxes raises won't really affect me next term 
I'm gonna raise them to 65%. Yep. I don't know where they were. Okay. So that's going to be 130 billion in revenue, hopefully. <sighs> Big moment. Well, I think this is going to be where we call it an episode. I know it's a little short. I'm kidding. Uh, we are actually going to figure out what happens in this poll. An election, I guess. It's no longer a poll. And it looks like non-voters won, guys. Uh, sad day, but... Uh, oh, oh we, we won. We won. <laughs> That was hopefully just slightly funny, and you are just slightly entertained by that. Equality's gone down, employment's gone up, middle earnings have gone down, tobacco use has somehow gone up, tourism has gone down, alcohol consumption has somehow gone up, but everything's a little better off in general than it was before. And we're now a highly productive society. Well, isn't that just grand? Freedom of information. There have been calls for a law to increase the availability of information held by databases about citizens without their knowledge. These include the records held by private medical companies, insurance companies, and debt collection agencies, as well as information held by the government. Uh, so, it's asking for us to be more transparent. So, I am for that. It is essential that we have this law passed, as it is one of the checks and balances required in a, any truly free society. The average law-abiding citizen should not have to be... Okay, that makes more sense. I didn't read the B should not have to be spied on or monitored by multinational corporations with computer databases and the potential for abuse by government agencies. If the citizen cannot view the data, it, it cannot view what data is being stored is huge. Yep, okay. Deep recession. I hope we get out of it. I mean, it's costing us a lot. A lot, a lot. This is again something I want to, I don't want to raise that tax because one, it's expensive to raise. I'm going to raise it to 40% and hopefully that gets us out of a deficit. I mean, that seems, that seems really good, really nice. And I don't think we do anything else, I think we just let it ride from here. Uh, liberal plot. Uh. Well, if we have a liberal plot, it's probably best to not hire the Patriot. Our ambassador in, to the UN retires this year, and we need to name a successor as soon as possible. Much will be made on whether we appoint a hardliner who sticks up for the country or someone who's able to compromise. I want someone who's compromised, I'm able to compromise, compromise. There we go. Uh, and she compromises, getting through solving difficult problems through compromise and understanding. Seems like what we want. Unemployment's down. That's nice. Poor, poor's opinion decreases of us. Hopefully, though. So, okay, I don't know how to. Unemployment benefits, private housing. I don't really know how to decrease homelessness. I mean, I guess decrease unemployment, but I don't know how to decrease unemployment anymore. Decrease, 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 decrease. Technology increase. Yeah, I mean, how, how high is education? Well, education is not improving anymore. So, is there a way that we can improve education? I guess university grants. We are on a surplus. Not that big. 
make a surplus though. Uh, I don't think these actually work. Wish I could see my surplus right now. I think this is where I had to put it. In order to actually be able to afford it. Hmm, what else can we do? Uh, legalized prostitution. I don't think we have. Can we tax prostitution? No, we can tax drugs. Not. Doesn't look like we can tax prostitution. Oh, I think that's a mistake. <laughs> why? Why not have have a little surcharge? We we allowed this to happen. Well, oh, we have 29. There has to be something we can do. We can make it hard to become a citizen, but I think I like and getting the best of the best to come here. We don't have the money to improve <laughs> improve that. The <sighs> economy just keeps going down. I'll tell you. We're still rocking a surplus though. National service. Compulsory national service I guess. Which would be nice in fact. Ooh, satellite road pricing. That would give us a lot of extra income. Which I think is what we're going to do. Uh, though we do have 50 some, so we can basically do whatever we want. Hmm. Well, I don't know why we did this. <laughs> this only costs. Doesn't seem like a good tax. Okay, satellite road pricing. What we're going with. Okay, that really pisses off motorists. But again, I think I'm just going to do it. It's a lot of extra income. And I think we're trying to really get people off of the roads and onto the monorail. I mean, I'd like, I like, uh, you know, the uh, idea of a just, what are they called? Um, a really fast uh, railways, I don't, uh, bullet trains. There we go. My brain, my brain's there, just not all the way. Hopefully, people can understand that. <laughs> okay, what else can we do? Maybe we can actually get some of these taxes off the books, not corporation tax, but maybe no. Um, how about capital gains? Yes, capital gains is now off the books. Which is nice. 17 left. What else is pretty cheap to increase, decrease, or yeah, increase or decrease. <laughs> or just leave the same. That's that's probably the cheapest way to go. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I think we're gonna go two more turns. Well, parents are the people that don't like us right now, but not much we can do. Everyone, yeah, I, I want to reduce those too. Youth club subsidies are, I guess, in effect now. Full swing of things. Internet crime. Increase this. Protect our uh, citizens from identity theft, I guess. Internet tracking. Well, we kind of already have it so that all the information that they are tracking is open, or we attempted for it to be open. So I'm going to allow the tracking because we're like, hey, you, you can track us, but we got to know about it. We're almost there. The environment's getting better, and we're almost uh, gotten rid of the asthma epidemic, which would be nice when that finally occurs. Foreign minister resigns. That's no bueno. But on the upside, our GDP's up. People are liking us 60%. We're in our second term, and I think things are looking pretty up. Pretty up. I'd like to improve health. Oh, I thought that said billion for a second. I was like, what did we do? 
We, we have 941 billion in surplus. That is absolutely insane. Our expenses are climbing. It would appear. I don't. I don't like that. Um, not really all that much in terms of expenses. I. I don't think. I guess we can lower state pensions more. I wonder what happened if we lower the income tax a little bit. Lower additional. Whoa. Whoa. 100%. We're going to see how well that actually uh, helps or hurts us at this point. We're not sitting too high right now. And you know what? I am going to lower state pensions to 57 billion. I think we can't continue to fund these. We, we don't have the capability. Especially if we're going to go through these economic crashes so frequently. Foreign policy. You're for foreign policy and you're 4.5. You're probably getting hired. You're a liberal socialist. I'm not sure I understand this game's uh, uh, meaning for the, the terms liberal and socialist. Uh, I think the, the developers European and being from America, our terms don't quite align. Again, people are just not liking us more and more. Carbon tax, people don't like it. I don't like it either, <laughs> to be honest. But it does seem to help. Oh, poverty went up. Or the number of impoverished went up. Oh, boy. Well, I think this is going to be the last turn we take. It's going to be a slightly longer episode. Well, I guess it's average at this point. 91 billion in surplus. Now we are talking. Capitalists are increased. Conservatives, I don't. I don't think we did anything to actually make you lower, so it makes no sense. Okay. Well, I think I'm gonna raise education. Uh, the one education that we added, not adult education. I think it's. Nope. Nope. Ah, what's the first one I thought it was? Then then it click on. Well, this increases education by a lot. So, yeah, it's gonna cost us quite a, quite a shiny penny, but I think it's beneficial in the long run. And then I'm gonna wait one turn, and then I I guess I'm gonna take this on to another episode. Unemployment's gone down. 69%. We're going to ban the use of landmines because of the innocent victims that they harm. And our surplus continue to grow, even though we ended up spending more. I think this means the economy is coming back. Well, I'm in the wrong spot. I, I want charts. No, is it not charts? It's money. Money in charts. What is, does this have to do with it? Oh, opinion polls is what that is. Yep, the economy is coming back around, our income is rising, and we're starting to pay off some of this debt. It'd be nice if we could completely eliminate it by the time we're out of office. Evolution only. This should help increase... Uh, I mean, I haven't heard much from the liberals, but hopefully this helps us. <laughs> And I think this will help us get to a more scientifically literate people. And make the whole world go round and better. Well, that's going to be it for today. I really hope that you liked the video. And if you did, please like, favorite, and subscribe to see more. And, uh, yeah, I hope to be seeing you more around. School for me is uh, coming to a close, so that will be nice. Well, I will talk to everyone later. Bye-bye.